Okay, sorry for the delay in working on this, but uh, Judy had, is in the middle of her cataract operation, so I'm just kind of winging it with this thing without her being my videographer. So what I'm doing now, I went ahead and did uh, a little over half of this just to speed things along, and now I'm going to show you, you know, what I did over here, okay? All right, we have our claws here, and I've cut little indentations in the uh, fur to mount the claws individually, okay? So to do that, I'm using my Dremel, and I've got a little uh, round bit here on the end. I hope you can see that. So uh, here we go. I'll do a couple, and then uh, and then we'll see what happens, okay? You just sort of have to eyeball it from where your other one was. It just makes it go pretty quick. I counted, I think I need about 10 over here. Well, not 10. I need to make 10 on the, this half of the body. And I want to kind of match them up to the other side. Okay, let's see. Standing from the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, one more here. It goes pretty quick. All right, we've got that. Now I'm going to take my other Dremel here, the one that had the stoning tool on it, and uh, turn it on here, and texture the upper part of this to match the rest of the fur, like I did over here on this one here. So I'll turn this on. Okay, do it. Now we head back over to the uh, workstation and what I'm going to do now is with my burning pen I'm going to burn off all this fuzz and uh, just texture it just a little bit more to tie it more directly into the fur up above. Okay? So I'll do that right now. kind of running the camera myself here so okay sitting here with my burning pen I got it pretty hot and what I'm going to do is just burn off can't all, see. all this fuzz that's yeah. around the edges and then kind of move it up to uh, texture the whole thing don't want to mess my painting up Goes pretty quick. You want everything to fit together, blend together. Not making any dust now, so I got my video videographer back again. 
Okay, now, here we go. Mounting the teeth. All right. Now I learned something when I was mounting the teeth that working on a smaller scale than this one up here, I have to do things just a little bit differently. With these, what I did was I lined all my claws up. And I did that same thing here with these. I just sort of made a line them all up like this. Let me just do a couple here just to show you. Oops. Like that. Your hand is in the way. Took a ruler, got them all lined up equally on the back, and then I could lay my ruler down and draw a line across there and mark the places that I need to drill a hole to uh, accept the wire that goes through each uh, claw to hold the bead. Well, working on a smaller scale, that only worked about from here to here. And anything beyond that point, back here, I should have just not drilled a hole. I should have uh, waited till the tooth, tooth, there we go again, claw was mounted before I drilled that hole. So, what I'm doing, what I'm going to do now is I'm trying to find a claw which closely matches the one that's in there. I like to get the thickness correctly. There's a good one. And on the back side of it, I'm going to kind of just carve that off to where it'll sit there, just like that. Okay? And then, with some uh, accelerant for CA, or super glue, I'm going to squirt a little on there. I'm going to squirt a little on my tooth. Tooth. Well, I don't know why I keep saying it too. Because they're white. Maybe, there you go, they're white. All right. Now, this is, it says thin on here, but this glue, I've been using it for quite a while, so it's actually thick. So, uh, the thick glue works a lot better than the thin glue. So, what I'm going to do now is put me a nice little glob. I can't see your hands. I can see it right down in there, and then I have to work kind of fast because that accelerant will set that off real quickly and maneuver it in position. About right there, wait for it to go off. Just like that. Now here's some thin glue. This stuff is still real watery thin. So what I'm going to do with it, now that the tooth claw is <laughs> mounted in there, I'm going to put a drop right there, let it soak in, put another one there, let that soak in by my lid. you buy these glues, the best thing is to, uh, Hobby Lobby has them, uh, Lowe's does not, neither does Home Depot, I mean they have a similar thing, but it's not as good as that there, or a hobby shop will have them. Uh, my, my advice is just to buy the thin, because eventually it's going to be thick. Okay, alright, that's pretty solid. It'll, It'll solid up some more. Okay, now, here's a hole here. Now I need another hole right there, which I drilled, which is right there. So I want to drill another one, which is right there. And there's a hole already there, but I'm just going to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to set another one now. Are you turning a bit? Time, I'm going to put a real big dollop of this thick right there just like that and then I'm going to 
set that in there, just like that. Get it in position. Your hand is in the way. Hand is in the way. Just like that. And while I do that, I'm going to try to set the next one. But nope, I'm not going to do that. Because although it looks like the hole that I drilled earlier lines up with the other one, I'm just going to wait and make sure that it lines up. Because I don't want to uh, run the risk of making it really difficult later on when I try to thread the beads on. Because the when I'm threading the beads on, uh, you have to sort of just do it one at a time as you go across using a pair of needle nose pliers and the bead and fishing it through all these little holes in each claw. And speaking of beads, I went down to Walmart because Joplin's 100, well not 100 miles away, but it's a long way off. And I bought me some uh, necklaces. And so I've got some I've got a different size beads in here. There's big ones and then there's sort of small ones. And here I bought another necklace. And these are pretty much all the same size. Yeah, no, looks like there's some small ones in there too. Right. And then I bought me another necklace which has uh, wooden beads. And these are all the same size. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got another uh, box up above there. Get this one off of there. Mm. With, that's full of beads too. So, uh, you know, if you want to find beads, that's a place to go that's handy. If you can't make it to Hobby Lobby, which has lots of beads. Just check this one. Yep, it's firm enough. So let me see if I can go ahead and drill my hole. See, there's the hole for this one here. So what I want to do is this one pretty well matches. But if I drill it through, it's going to come out above it. So what I'm going to do is just sort of re-drill it. to the next claw. Again, I'll put a nice big dollop of this thick glue in there. A lot of this glue will soak down into the wood and really you know, lock this claw down. Put it down there. Put another drop above here. Like that. Allow it to soak. And then I'm going to give it a little squirt of this accelerant. And then wait to uh, till it firms up to where uh, I can drill a hole without knocking it out twice. And once that super glue really sets up, these claws are really on there. They're not going to come off unless someone purposely grabs one and tries to break it off. All right. Or it falls. Or what? Or it falls. Yeah. I'm going to have to talk to my videographer about faith in the person who <laughs> let her retire early. No. Okay. So, that, I'll just continue on. I've got, what, one, two, three more to do here. But you see what I'm doing now. Just remember, don't drill your holes until you start mounting your teeth on teeth, claws onto the piece, and uh, you'll be all right. Because uh, after we get them all on there, nice and solid, I've got some. Uh, this is 32 gauge wire, and uh, we will just. Stick it through the hole, just like that. 
looks like. Yeah. It takes it takes a while and it takes patience. It's easier if you take your knife and you cut that paint off of there. Right where the hole is so you can see. See where the hole is. All I see is hands. That's fine. Just draw it through there. Get the tag off of there. And there's the wire. And you get another bead. This is a job for a young man, I'll tell you. You just keep going around the around the claws. Let's stop there. Get the right word until you get those balls, beads in their position, and you're going to end up with something that really looks nice. But again, you know, this is a lot larger scale than what we're working on here, so that was kind of easy. Because I actually looking at this used used two strands of this wire and twisted it. Okay, so that's going to do it for this one. In the next one, uh, I'm going to continue threading beads on here. It's okay to go ahead and thread them on before you paint the claws, because I'm going to paint those beads over again once everything's locked down into place. I won't be able to paint the complete bead, but I'll be able to paint it enough to where it'll look, uh, you know antique like these do, I hope, and uh, they look a lot better. I don't want them to look shiny like that. Okay, so until then, I'll talk to you later.